Ladies and gentlemen, 90% of Kenya Kwanza leaders allied to William Samui Arap Ruto, including the president come 2027, wataenda nyumbani. Why am I saying so? Wananchi kutoko pandu wa mlima Kenya wamekataa hii serekali ya Bwana Ruto. Wamesema kwamba 99% of Kenya Kwanza leaders allied to William Ruto from Mount Kenya 2027 kurudi mamlakani ni vigumu. Na haya wameweza kuyaeleza kutokana na yale ambayo wabunge wa mlima Kenya ambao wako ndani ya chama cha UDA wanawatendea. And that's why umeweza kusema kwamba 99% itakuwa ni vigumu kuweza kurudi mamlakani. Hilo ndilo nataka niweze kukuelezea kundani ni kuwekea evidence ambayo imeweza kutolewa. Lakini kabla ya hapo niruhusu kwa sekunde mbili tatu nipitishe ujumbe huu. Tuko upande wa Kisumu kwa zaidi ya wiki moja mahali ambapo tunazidi kumumalizia Mama Monica nyumba ambayo aliweza kutuomba kama mashabiki wa Kenya ni Media. Mama Monica ni single mother, Mama Monica ni mgonjwa. Mama Monica yuko na watoto wanne na yeye ndio baba na yeye ndio mama kwake. Licha kwamba yeye ni mgonjwa, hana uwezo wa kufanya kazi, yeye ndio mama, yeye ndio baba. Akaweza kutuomba kwamba tumjenge nyumba, nikawaelezea mumeweza kuchangamka na shukuru tena zaidi mkanunua mabati, mmenunua miti, tumesimamisha nyumba. Na sasa hivi vitu viwili vitatu vimeweza kukosa tafadhali tuweze kumaliza nyumba. Milango mitatu ilikuwa imekosa. Wapenzi watazamaji wametunulia miwili. Mlango moja ni alf tatu mlango ambao. Pamoja na kitu ambacho kimeweza kutukosa sasa hivi ni hela za kuweza kuwalipa mafundi. For now, zile ambazo wa Kenya wameweza kuchangisha uh, challenge ya 200,000 ziko shilingi alfu mbili. So tuseme kwamba tumekosa 14,000 ya kuweza kuwalipa mafundi na tumekosa mlango mmoja wa shilingi 1300. Mwenyezi Mungu ziyakubariki tu kama uko na uwezo wa kuweza kusaidia tuweza kumsaidia mama Munika. You never know what tomorrow carries. Kama uko na uwezo wa kusaidia, msaidie mwenzako uh, ili na yeye aweze kuishi mahala kuzuri. Mahala ambapo tumetoka ni mbali na mahala ambapo tumeweza kufika Imagine tumenunua mabati, tumenunua miti, tumeanzisha nyumba mpaka imefika hapa. Kwa hivyo nina imani kwamba mtaenda kuchangamka kama hautakuwa na uwezo wa kuweza kununua mlango wala kuweza kututolea 14000 ndio ina bari tufanye tu challenge ya 200 300 tuweza kumalizia nyumba hii. Karibu tuweze kwenda mbele asante kwa kuweza kunisikiliza. Imeweza kubainika kwamba viongozi kutoka upande wa mlima Kenya 99% wataenda nyumbani. Wale ambao wanaegemea upande wa William Ruto na Rigathi Gachagua, 99% of them wataenda nyumbani. Kutokana na kwamba wameweza kuwauza wa Kenya. Not only Mount Kenya, but also countrywide, 99% of them wataenda nyumbani. But now we are centered kuweza kuangalia yale ambayo yametolewa kutoka upande wa mlima Kenya. Akisungumza na kituo cha KTN mnamo siku ya Ijumaa tarehe 29 mwezi wa Machi mwaka 2024 mwanasiasa ama mchambuzi wa siasa ambaye vile vile ni mwanasheria bwana Martin Olo ameweza kusema kwamba wabunge hawa wataenda nyumbani kwa kuweza kuwasaliti wananchi mbona tuweza kuandikia mate kipindi ambapo wino upo msikilize mati ni ulo aweze kunyosha mawasiliano alafu ni kueleze dibal what what amuses me is that uh, this government as we know is a shareholding is a, is a share holding government and the shareholders either know what is inside the details of their shares or they don't at some point they thought that the shares were about positions and uh, cabinet and pss and that was nice now the shares are also in how to fund the budget now that's not very really nice because some of the proposals that are coming through are hurting and they're not just hurting 
uh, the shareholders, they are even hurting those who are not shareholders. So we'd have thought that maybe shareholders would be benefiting as others are hurting. Unfortunately or fortunately, they are hurting as much and that some of the things the, the shareholders are committing to are hurting businesses more, are hurting agriculture more. And these are their core backbone, uh, you know, support base. So when Dindi Nyoro now wakes up and he says what he's saying, uh, there is also something that you need to see. The other day we saw Gashagwa uh, beating a retreat on his statements and asking for an apology. Dindi Nyoro and Gashagwa have been at war, but essentially you can see that the ground in central is hostile. It's unhappy. And the introduction of taxes and the introduction of punitive actions, such as the shift of the social health, affordable housing, now taxes on farmers and produce and so on, are going deep into the pockets of farmers. And these farmers are not happy. And they are the members of some of these uh, vocal members uh, of the Kenya Kwanzaa team's uh, voting bloc, uh, supporters and so on. So we are preparing ourselves for a good revolt on the ground, particularly from central Kenya. And that's why you see now every MP who has his antennas up retreating. Gashago is retreating, Dini Nyoro is retreating, and we'll see more of that. We've had it on this uh, uh, show that it's not unusual that MPs are voted out, but it will be more percentage voted out of central than we have seen before. If it had been 60, 70, it could be even 90, 95 percent of the current MPs being swept off. For not being with it, for not understanding the plight of the people, and more importantly, for coming on the, on, on, on the screen or on the show and telling us, or rather on the TV and telling us, they are so busy. They don't even know what is in the finance bill. What is, the bu what is this business that you are busy with, which is not legislative, which is not analyzing what is going on in the floor of the house, which is not, which is not uh, representing your people's interest? Because your people's interest will be hurt by finance bill, will be hurt by punitive uh, taxation. So if you come and tell us you are too busy to read that, then you have prepared yourself for, uh, you know, to be put on the chopping block. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. <laughs> nina imani kwamba umeweza kumsikiliza kwa makini na nina imani kwamba kuna kitu ambacho umeweza kukigundua kutoka hapa nataka niweza kukueleza kwa undani kabisa lakini kabla ya hapo kama we ni mgeni piga subscription like video bonyeza kengele share kanda hii kuelekea kwa grupu moja mbili tatu serikali hii ya bwana Ruto in including Ruto and Willy eh, Rigathi Gachagua kam 2027 wataenda nyumbani Wabunge watakataliwa wataenda nyumbani. Unataka kujua kwa nini? Sababu ya kwanza ambayo itafanya wananchi kutoko upande wa mlima Kenya waweze kukataa serikali hii pamoja na wabunge kutoko upande wa mlima Kenya wale ambao wanaegemea upande wa William Samui Arapruto it's because of punitive policies. Punitive policies. William Ruto ni utawala wake tangia walipoweza kuingia mamlakani. Hamna siku ambayo umeweza kuunda sheria ambayo inamtetea mwananchi wa kawaida. Kila siku ni kuweza kuleta taxes hapa na pale ambazo zinamkandamiza mkenya wa kawaida. Kila siku ni kugeuza sheria hapa na pale ambazo zinafanya kanjos wanakimbizana na wafanyabiashara kwenye masoko. Nimekuwa nikiona jinsi ambavyo kanjos wanawaangaisha akina mama akina baba wale ambao wanafanya kazi mpaka sasa zingine unaweza dondoko kwa machozi jinsi ambavyo kanjos wanatuanga biashara za mama ya mtu na baba ya mtu it's only because hawa wabunge wa Kenya kwanza waliweza kupitisha sheria ambayo inaongeza taxes William Ruto na wabunge wake wa Kenya kwanza waliweza kuahidi kwamba waliweza kuahidi wa Kenya kwamba watakuja kupunguza taxes wameingia mamlakani miaka miwili peke yake wa Kenya ni kulia kulia ushuru wameweza kupandisha pay as you earn 
imeweza kuongezwa housing programs imeweza kuongezwa imeweza kuletwa wa Kenya wanatolewa pesa za kujenga nyumba za bei nafuu social health insurance fund ya matibabu imeweza kuongezwa pamoja na mambo mengine kama vile avocado tax alafu niliweza kuona wabunge wengine wakiwa wanajaribu kuwabebea wa Kenya akili tu kwamba there is no avocado tax hii ni baada ya kuweza kugundua kwamba wa Kenya umeweza kuwakata so kutokana na hizi punitive policies ambazo waliweza kuzileta kipindi ambapo walikuwa wanapitisha bajeti ya mwaka 2023-2024 this thing will cost them come 2027 the way i'm seeing the clouds are forming hao wabunge watena nyumbani huu ushuru pamoja na mambo mengine ambayo yanahusiana na palliative policy ambazo waliweza kuleta zinawaumiza wa Kenya zimeweza kuachanua wa Kenya akili baada ya viongozi wa Kenya kwanza kuweza kuona kwamba wananchi wameweza kuwakataa only because of punitive policies the likes of Ndindi Nyoro they have started blaming KRA Kenya Revenue Authority kwamba wao ndio wanawaongezea wananchi tax bila ya consultation. Let me ask you maina. Ushuru unaweza ukapitishwa bila ya public participation ya wabunge kule bungeni. What kind of public participation are they talking about? So walisema kwamba public participation ni kule bungeni. Wakachukua bungeni, wabunge wa Kenya kwanza wakanuliwa wakapitisha. Imeweza kubainika kwamba wengi wao hawakuweza kusoma mswada wa bajeti na wao wenyewe waliweza kutuambia kwamba kile kitabu cha bajeti kilikuwa ni kubwa hawakuweza kusoma so because hawakuweza kusoma hawakuelewa kile ambacho kilikuwa ndani ila tu waliweza kupitisha kwa sababu waliweza kupitisha bajeti bila ya kusoma na kujua yale mateso ambayo yako ndani mkenya atakuja kupitia wa Kenya watawachukua nyumbani Ndindi nyora ameweza kukubali kwamba ushuru ambao wameweza kuleta hapa nchini unamkandamiza mwananchi wa kawaida. Gachawa peke yake jinsi ambavyo imeweza kumsikia Martin Olo ameweza kutueleza kwamba Gachawa ameweza kuadmit kwamba ushuru ni mkubwa and that's why amekuwa akiita mikutano ya uh, avocado forum ukitaka kujua kwamba ground imeweza kukua hostile kwa mrengo wa Kenya kwanza upande wa mlima Kenya Bwana Ndini Nyoro ameanza kuadmiti kwamba ushuru ni mkubwa ameanza kulaumu kiari Ukitaka kuadmiti kwamba ground imeweza kugeuka ama imeweza kutana against the Kenya kwanza regime Unaona Rigadi Gachagua aliamua kuomba familia ya Uhuru Kenyatta msamaha ili angalau familia ya Uhuru Kenyatta ikimkubali familia ya Uhuru Kenyatta isaidie Rigadi Gachagua kuweza kuunganisha watu upande wa mlima Kenya waingie ndani ya serikali ya Kenya kwanza licha kwamba inawatesa kumbuka kwamba kutokana na punitive policies ambazo waliweza kuzileta wananchi wengi kutoka upande wa Kenya kwa eh, upande wa mlima Kenya they have rejected the William Samoy Arap Ruto's team punitive policies number 2 ambayo imeweza kufanya asilimia tisa ya wabunge kutoka upande wa mlima Kenya pamoja na rais William Samoy Ruto they won't be voted in 2027 it's because of unfulfilled promises kipindi cha kampeni waliweza kuwapewa wananchi lundu la ahadi tutamaliza corruption hapa nchini as we speak corruption ni kama kiamsha kinywa ndani ya serikali ya Kenya kwanza ufisadi ni kama chakula ndani ya Kenya kwanza regime kwa hivyo mambo na ufisadi hawajaweza kuyatekeleza they have failed the kenyans During the campaigns they promised the Kenyans that they are going to lower the cost of living. 
they haven't done till now as we speak. They promised the job opportunities for youths. There is no, there is nothing like job opportunities. They promised to finish all the project that Uhuru Kenyatta started up to now. How do you want to do it? So, unfulfilled campaign promises, kulingana na jisa mbave mati ni uloa meweza kueleza, the, it will cost the Kenya Kwanza regime. Na, wabunge wote kutoko pandu wa mulima Kenya, 99% of them, wataenda nyumbani, because, waliweza kuwauza wa Kenya, kipindi cha kupitisha bajeti kule bungeni, wakaweza kupitisha ndio, bajeti weza kuwakandamiza wananchi, wakawaida. J, what is your take? Kulingana na jisa mbavyo, Nimeweza kukueleza na kulingana jiu sambavyo Martin Olo ameweza kunyosha mawasiliano yake Tafadhali, samanasi ili tuweza kupata wazo lako Na ikiwa ukuna uwezo wakueza kuchangia mamamunika Tafadhali, saidia mwenzako, kesho ni wewe Tafadhali, tusiwe watu ambao Tunaanza kunungunika ambao na tunafanya challenge Kwenye vijiji ambavyo tunaishi kuna mateso Kuna mateso. Huyu mama jii sababu ya likuwa na teseka. Sisi hatu kuweza kuwamba mtazamaji wangu muweza kumununulia chakula. Tuliomba tu, aweza kupata malazi. Makao ndiyo kitu cha muhimu. Anyway, tupata na kwa kande jayo. 